Welcome everyone to the second episode of our four-part webinar series, Estimate Better with BIM. This webinar series is focused on helping you understand the power of BIM, so building information modelling, in the context of quantity surveying and cost estimation, and how to best leverage this within the Costex software. My name is Francesca Nottingham, and I'm a Costex consultant within RIB software. I am based in the UK, and I was in the construction industry for nine years and a quantity surveyor for eight of those years before moving into the software side of things. Following the last episode on drawing sets and object duplication, today I'll be covering importing dimensions using BIM templates and object measurement. In future episodes, we will be discussing model maps and BIM revisions. So if any of these topics interest you, please be sure to register your interest so you don't miss out. For those of you who are not aware, RIB Costex has been in the market for over 20 years, empowering quantity surveyors and estimators to produce accurate estimates through powerful digital takeoff, live linked estimation and customizable reporting. In the fast moving world of construction, staying ahead means using tools that make life easier and projects more efficient. BIM is one of those tools, transforming how projects are planned, built and delivered. And with RIB Costex, you can really unlock the power of BIM to streamline your estimating and takeoff processes. So what are the benefits of BIM paired with Costex? Firstly, accurate, data-driven estimates. Extract detailed quantities straight from 3D models with automatic updates as designs change. Seamless collaboration. Work together with team members from different locations on up-to-date project data, minimising miscommunication and reducing rework. Enhanced visualisation, see complex designs in 3D as you work, helping you make better decisions with fewer errors. Future-proofing your projects, stay competitive and compliant as BIM becomes the industry standard. So, in this episode of the webinar, we'll be exploring some of the ways of completing a takeoff using models or 3D drawings. This includes looking at importing dimensions from a template, object measurement and point measurement. By reviewing this, it will assist us in understanding the benefits of BIM when completing object measurement. So let's see it in action. So what we have here is a DWFX model. If I go over to the model tree, you can see there is a catalogue of different objects contained within this model. I can click in one of the folders here and I can see all the different components that make up this model. Now, the reason we already have this information of the drawing is because of the object properties. If I hover over an item in the drawing screen and right click, I have the opportunity to view the object properties. So let's review these. As you can see, there's already a whole host of information um, already in this model. So I've not input this information. This is what has been uh, sent to me when the model was exported and what I imported into Costex. So we've got different properties here. So we've got the level, so the door that we uh, right clicked knew that it's on the entry level, so on the ground floor in this instance. It already knows its own dimension, so it knows the height um, and thickness and width of this door. Uh, we know the specification of the door, so it's a single flush door. Um, and we also know uh, things like the host, so we know that it's an exterior door and it's insulation on masonry, so it's on a masonry wall. So all of that information is going to be used when we do the first way of doing our takeoff, so using a BIM template. So once again, I've not entered in any of that information that was already in there from when the model was built, but Costex has read that information and brought it into the system for us. So. Uh, firstly, let's look at how I can use this information to import my dimensions using a template. So I will select only a few items in the model tree to take off. So let's go with uh, doors and ceilings. Okay, so you can see on the model here, I've got my doors and ceilings selected. So now when running the template, it will only do a takeoff of items shown within the drawing screen. So you will see a warning message pop up regarding this. So all I need to do is go to my dimensions tab and click on this import button. Now I've got two options. I'm going to select the first one. Now this 
is the message that uh, I spoke about earlier. So it's saying some objects have been hidden. Data will only be imported for visible objects. Do you want to proceed? Uh, yes, I do, because I know I only selected those for the purpose of this demonstration. Um, but just to make you aware, it will only take off what is on the screen. So I'll select yes. So now it's taking me to the file explorer where I have my template saved. So I'm going to select my BIM import Revit general. Select this template and then press open. Then it will have a run through of the objects um, or the object properties, uh, only of the items that I have selected and create dimension groups for me. So I'm just going to press OK, go back to my drawings and you can see I've now got two dimension groups. Uh, one for ceilings and one for doors. So let's open this up. Okay, so I've got uh, my ceilings folder, which has captured the three different types of ceilings that I have. Um, if I hover over them, I've got my count. So I've got 60 lots of those particular ceilings. I've got a length, so the perimeter length of those. I've got the area and I've also got the volume. It's done the same for my doors. So it's um, populated them into different dimension groups depending on their specification. Again, I can hover over these and I can get a count. Um, I can get a length and I can get a wall area of those doors. So I did very little there. All I did was run a template um, for the items that's on my screen and it's done my takeoff for me. Okay, so this is one way, um, a very quick way of doing an accurate takeoff of your model. Now, we only did a few objects there, but you could run this for the whole model if you wanted to. Another way in which we can do a takeoff is through object measurement. So using either object mode or point mode. So let's have a look at object mode first. So I'm going to bring back um, all of the layers. So I'm just going to right click and say show all objects. So I brought back all my layers, all my objects are now visible. What I'm going to do is create a dimension group for my glazing, for example. So you can see in this building there's rather a lot of glazing. Um, I'm going to isolate this item in order to do an object uh, takeoff. So I'm in object mode right now. Um, and I'm going to just right click on one of them and show only objects in glazed. So now I've just got my glazed items. So I'm just going to right click on here. Um, and select create dimension group. Now, hopefully you're familiar with this if you've used Costex before, but this is uh, your dimension group properties. So now I've got the opportunity to enter in um, some properties against this dimension group that I want and, and tell Costex how I want it to count the information or quantify the information. So I'm just gonna say, um, give it a name of uh, glazed windows. I'm just going to pop it in a folder called Windows. Um, and I want my measurement type to be count. I want to know how many windows I need to buy. Um, I'm just going to change my uh, positive dimension color. I'm going to use the random color selector. So I'm happy with that color. So I'll leave that there. Um, and then what I want to do is in my BIM dimensions tab, so click up here. Um, I want to tell Costex uh, what information to gather. Now, if I go to my area field here, you can see that this is empty. I can go to my ellipse button, which takes me to the expression editor. And as you can see, I've got a tab here called properties. Now this takes me to exactly the same information that we saw earlier when I right clicked over that door and selected object properties. I've got the same information here, but this time for my glazed window. So you can see I've got my dimensions, um, you've got the specification as well. Once again, it already knows all that information. So for my area, um, I simply just double click on area and it knows to calculate um, the 2.37 meters squared in this case. And uh, when it's doing its cumulative value, it knows two times the count by that um, total area. So I'm gonna close this. That's now populated in there. Uh, go back to my properties, make sure I'm happy with that, and I'm just going to click insert. Okay, so I've now got a new folder called windows. I've got glazed windows as my dimension group. Um, and all I need to do is just import the dimensions um, using the function within Costex. So I'm going to get a better view of this um, of these glazed windows. So I'm just going to uh, use this 
view, for example, give us a bird's eye view of the glazing. Now I'm going to hide some areas where I don't necessarily want it counted. So these roof lights, for example, um, I'm going to not count those. So I'm just going to right click and hide objects in an area. I'm just going to capture those in an area as I don't want them counted. Now there's a couple more here, which I also just want to tidy up. So I'm going to do the same thing, um, hide objects in an area and just get rid of those. Okay, um, I'm also going to get rid of this uh, porch area as well. Okay, so this is all the glazing that I want taken off. So all I need to do is just right click again and this time I'm going to import objects in an area. So I'm just going to select this, drag my mouse across all of these glazed items and as that runs it's going to take off the information for me. So it's going to do a count, it's going to represent my count in my new dimension groups and it's going to give me a cumulative value of the area of glazing as well. Now that would be useful if you wanted to um, have curtains and blinds maybe on your glazing or perhaps you were ordering it by the meter rather than by um, standard sizes, depends on what you want. But as you can see, it's just done that takeoff for me. So I can uh, hover over this and I can see I've got 888 windows um, that I need to purchase and the total area of those is 1,841 meters squared. So that was just in object mode. So rather than using my template, to do a takeoff for me um, I was able to tailor that uh, a bit better and put in that I wanted the area as well. Um, so you can always do importing of dimensions that way perhaps you might not have a template um, in which case that would be your preferred method. Um, so moving on to point mode then this is a situation or a function that can be used as there may not always be an object associated with what you want to measure. Now, if I uh, once again bring back all of my objects. So I've brought back all of my objects now. I'm just going to um, create or move this model around a bit so we've got a different view. Now, what I want to do is actually do a takeoff of um, some rainwater goods. So let's just say I need a, a gutter down the um, inverse of this canopy. Um, so as you can see, as I hover over this, um, I'm in object mode and as I hover over it, it's classed as one object, so the canopy roof. Um, so it's not like I could just click on the object for the gutter. There isn't one there. That's not how it's been um, developed. So I need to create my own um, measure in order to get the information that I want. Now I can do this by um, just isolating this item just to make it a bit easier to uh, concentrate on this item alone. So I'm going to go to my layers. I'm going to click on that canopy there and I'm just going to invert that selection. So now I've just got this. So it gives it, uh, gives me just a better view as to what I'm actually uh, doing a takeoff for. So let's zoom in right in uh, so I can show you what this is. So what I need to do is actually create a dimension group first. So I'm just going to select add um, and you must be familiar with this now. So let's just type in a name um, of internal gutter. Okay, I'm going to create a new folder called uh, rainwater goods. Um, and the measurement type, I actually want the length. Uh, so I'm going to alter that and change that to length. And I'm going to change my color to uh, something bright. There we go, I'll use that bright blue. Um, and because this is point mode, I don't actually need to enter in any of this information. By all means, you could add some custom quantities if you wanted to, but this is a very simple measure. Um, it's literally just a linear length for my internal gutter. So I'm just going to select insert and now I've created my rainwater goods folder and I've got my internal gutter dimension group here. So what I'm going to do is switch to point mode. Now, as you can see, as I hover over this object, it's not identifying it as an object because I've switched out of object mode. So I've now got the opportunity to um, do some, some more manual measurements. So Hopefully you can see it's a little bit small, but hopefully you can see there's a blue dot there. So it's actually clinging. Uh, if I move around, it will get rid of it. And if I move closer, you can see it's actually clung to that um, corner there or that edge there. Uh, so I'm just going to click. And then as I move to the next edge there, 
you can see I've just done my manual measurement. So I've got a count of one and I've got a length because that's all I wanted from my dimension group. Um, and it's in the blue colour that I needed it to be in. Um, and I've then been able to do my sort of more manual measurement. So we do have the um, option. You can have the option of importing your dimensions via a template, which is very autonomous, as we saw earlier with our ceilings and doors. Um, we've got the option to import the dimensions, uh, creating a dimension group ourselves. And then we've also got the more manual measurement. So if you're ever in a situation where your model perhaps doesn't have an object for an item that you want to measure, like we've just simulated here, then you do still have the option to do a measure um, with accuracy. Because it's a model, it's a very intelligent drawing, it will know the scale that it needs to be. I didn't need to set that when I imported it. Um, it's just automatically known that accurate length for me. So by understanding the object properties contained within the model, you can see how autonomous the takeoff process can be by using some of our features. You are not limited to just these methods. Coming up in the next episodes of our BIM webinar, you will see that there are plenty of ways to get the information you need from your drawings with our built-in features. I hope you enjoyed the information shared today on importing dimensions using BIM templates and object measurement. Please feel free to ask us any questions within the chat box or alternatively send your inquiry via our Contact Us webpage. If your questions are not answered today, our regional team will get back to you directly. Our next episode of the series covers model maps. Register now so you don't miss out. If you have not had a chance to view the previous episode, please click the link here to catch up. Interested in upskilling and other topics beyond BIM? Subscribe to our regular Costex Coffee Break webinar series on YouTube. We release new topics monthly to help you maximise your Costex experience. Thanks again for watching and I hope you learned something new.